Hello everyone, this is Hiro Uzuki with part 14 of my Let's Survive Silent Hill 3, the game where I have wound up back in the titular town. We're still... We're in the hospital. Nothing good has happened in the hospital. Not in the first game, not in the second game, and definitely not going to be in this game. Because of course it is. I dread opening doors. Ow! Your breath, girl. Is there anything in here? You know, besides these three recently made corpses. No. So, I just wasted my time. And shotgun shells. That's great. It's real fucking great. Organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay here even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. Gross. But why haven't you taken my doll with... How do you know about that? My gift must have embarrassed you. Is he fucking watching her? It's fucking creepy. A lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. We would probably use glue, but why do this in the first place? That cookie is probably no good anymore. A key glued to the wall. But it's really stuck. 
Well, we've got that knife, don't we? Or are you going to tell me that it won't work? come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. Sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this. Before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago, coming back from vacation. My wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child. This girl, we took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self, that's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self, that was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, because, you know, she's a sick bitch. Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, and that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Nearly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificed girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dolly did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and she was dead. All from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago, and then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby in my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again it feels like a million years ago. I confess, I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she... When you look at me, you laugh so. Even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry, Heather Harry Mason. E. Poor guy. Okay, so this... We're pretty much done over here. For now. Obviously, we have to come back at some point for that key. Mm. Still a few doors over this way. But for better or worse, I should check. Okay, can't check. Does anyone use the bathroom or get something to eat around here? This is bullshit. Well, somehow the elevator works. So. Uh. 
Second floor, I guess. complain about there being so many locked doors, but the fewer doors I have to open, the better. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously, and so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quick has that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still I want you help. Who the fuck are you? Why was he, admi he admitted here to a hospital? It sounds like he should have gone to the state loony bin. Nail polish room. Perfume. Okay, well, I was hoping for a healing item. Takes off nail polish. I found it. So it smells a little strange. A little. Just, just a little strange. Are, are you sure there's nothing else in here? Like, bullets or something? Typewritten memo posted here. What's it supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Oh, so was that supposed to be a hint about this? Um... Well... Well... Numerical puzzle. First is larger than the second. Second twice the third. They're smaller than the fourth, and the fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated, meaning no multiples. Okay. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. And the final number says the key, final key. Okay, so it means none of these, and two of these are no. And since half. I mean, only even numbers, so we can admit three and nine. So six is one of the numbers. First, larger than the 
the second. Second, twice the third. Third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Okay, so yeah, all the numbers have to be even. Okay, maybe not all of them. I think. Uh, okay, the first one's gotta be the largest number. The second one is less than the second. The third is half of the second number. smaller than the fourth. Fourth is half the first. Numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Oh, okay, I was overthinking that. So it's not that none of the numbers are omitted. It's just that of the four numbers used, three of the numbers just aren't these, and two of them are not these. In which case... Start even numbers. Because we can't exactly get half numbers out of the odd numbers, then... I'm a fucking nerd. But you know what? Sometimes it pays to be a nerd. Anything else up here? Anything worth my time and effort? And potential tear? breath, girl. And, uh, go ahead and heal. Again, I dread opening doors. She has something written on it. Well, what's written on his hand, then? Uh... The 
start time is my key. Medical record here. Could this be for this tech? Background unknown. Name and age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Ouch! There's... Ugh. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof of corroboration of events from... Or, pro ugh, or corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed in effect an intact room M4. Um. Okay. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Turn it off. Creep me the hell out. Yeah, me too. We should get the hell out of here. Tache case is locked. Huh? I can't exactly solve something I don't have a clue to hint to. Wait, 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 hold on a second. It's supposed to be his personal effects, right? So wait. So wait, is... I was gonna fumble around with the others, but okay. I'm sorry, what? What what I just pick up? Instant camera. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. Okay.
Why does it have to be so difficult? I'm just trying to live my life. Thank you. So there was a health kit, but is there anything else? No. Would it kill someone to fix the wiring in here? I can't see for shit. We gotta go back down to the first floor. this place is still clear. For now, anyway. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and stop here. While the stopping was good, I got some key items, and I am still somewhat sane. So, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, leave me a comment, and hitting that bell to stay updated with more videos from me. With that, this is Hiro Uzuki, signing off. Seriously, is there some whacked out stalker who's constantly watching her as we go about navigating this hellhole? Because if so, that's not funny. That's sick. He needs to go to the loony bin.